We're going to walk through how to edit and create your very own logo for your website. It's really quite simple actually. So if you have Photoshop or GIMP, which is a free thing to look up uh, that lets you make your own logos, then you should definitely be able to do this kind of stuff. So we're going to start off with the demo version of our site that we have right now. And it comes with this little logo right here that is called Hot Topics. Um, so we're going to save that and we'll just save that right to the desktop. And as you can see, it's on the desktop. I left a little piece open over here on the right so you can see it. And now we're just gonna right click, hit open with Photoshop. So whether you have Photoshop or not, a lot of the functionality is similar. But here is where you find uh, the sizes. So you go to canvas size, pixels, and you can see our logo is just under 300 pixels wide and 50 pixels high. So it's 297 by 50. So if we want to start a new document, we can do that. So we'll say 297 by 50. All right. And so now we have that logo area and this will fit nicely into here. It takes up that block. So we're going to change what the title says. So we're just going to use the type tool and I'm just going to type in my name. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll click here and we'll make it black. Uh, or at least a dark gray, and then we'll click here and just shrink it down a little. So it doesn't quite fit, so we'll do it like this, and we'll go there, and if you hold down shift while dragging one of the corners, then it will keep the proportions, which is nice. So let's say it's not totally fitting right, we're just going to hit reveal all, and see how that squished open a little area there? That's great. So now we're going to just um, make one of these words a different color, so we'll do the Jeff will make that a little bit darker gray or lighter gray. Uh, and there you go. So now we have my logo. It's ready to be uploaded already and it's the same size and proportions. But if you want to get a little fancier, you can double click on the layer over here. I'll drag it over so you can see and keep an eye on the background here. So you can do drop shadow right there or you can just change the whole color, do a gradient overlay. Uh, as you can see, it, there's a lot of functionality you can play with. So we'll just you can make it rainbow, for example. We're not going to make it rainbow, but you could. Um, there's a lot of preset functionality. It's all pretty straightforward. If you want to change what the gradients are, you just click here and then on color. And so you can make that red or drag it down here. We can make it a nice bold green, something like that. So we'll hit cancel because we don't need that and we don't need that. So now we'll hit um, stroke. You can see that adds a little line around it. You can do that if you so choose. Um, you can make it really big or small. You can really do whatever you want with it. So feel free to play around. Once you have it how you want, make sure you do shift save. And we are going to just call it logo. You can call it whatever you want, but we're gonna call it logo. And we're gonna use the format PNG, which has a transparent background. So we'll hit save and we're gonna save over the version that we had on the desktop already. Now we'll go back to our site and if you have a premium site or even any site these that's pretty modern it's easy to upload a logo so you're just gonna go here go under dashboard and our theme is called hot topics but your theme is probably gonna be called something different so this may say theme options so we'll just go here theme options and we're just gonna go to upload logo double click on that and it automatically pulls it in and all we have to do hit save and now let's go see what it looks like we'll open that site up again and there you go so there's our logo it's not totally perfect we could probably squish the letters together a little more that might make it look nicer add like an image or take advantage of this white area right under here there's a lot you can do this is just a very rough version to show you uh, it uses the same colors basically as you can see here so that looks pretty nice it blends in nicely and you can do whatever you want so make sure you tinker around with your logo a lot. You can also buy some nice clip art, um, or you can even just Google logo design icons, uh, and there's a lot of icons you can use. So you just do a Google image search, and let's say you, know, you really like this little guy or something. Make sure it's not somebody else's. Um, if it's like a 123rf.com or an iStock photo, then you can just buy it and make that your logo and you're good to go. So you can just put it you know, over here on the left. 
And again, if you want to figure out the exact size, in case you need to make a new uh, document with a new logo, you can just go to canvas size, pixels, and see ours is now 297, 298 by 55 because we expanded it a little bit. Uh, I think basically if you keep it under 300, then it should be fine. And that's because when you resize a browser down on a responsive website, watch how it turns into an iPad friendly site and then an iPhone friendly site. So this is about 350 pixels wide. So you could probably get away with 350 on this site in particular. But if your site is responsive, you probably want to keep it at 300 because that's the typical width of a mobile site. So we'll expand it back out. And there you go, everything plops back into place. Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask, ask them down in the comments or anything. But I'll see you in the next lesson.